How to search Google in 2016. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you many different methods for you to consider when you're searching in Google search box. Let's start by understanding that Google is a global search engine. That means if I'm located in Australia, Google is aware of that. So therefore, it will direct me to google.com.au. Now, let's imagine you are in UK. If that's the case, you'll have google.uk searching for results coming from UK, so to speak. Now, although we search Google UK in this example, Google may bring results coming from different parts of the world that will depend on the search query. And for google.com, we need to then search google.com. So let's just start seeing what else we can do apart from just searching without using advanced methods or creative methods, perhaps. Let's imagine this scenario. Let's say we're looking for schema markup as keywords schema markup plugin as keyword. Now we've just placed three different keywords. We can press on search tools to say country Australia only. So bring me results coming from Australian sites. Or we can say any country. Now, as I've said to you, the best way to search in a particular country is go directly to the search engine designed for that country. Furthermore, search tools gives us search capability for date ranges. Let's imagine that you're looking for results coming from last month or as you can see past 24 hours, perhaps a news that you've heard and so on. And you want to go into Google and start searching for that news. Now you don't want to tell Google to bring results from last year, but past 24 hours if you want. Okay, so you can always clear the search tools features. You can even give custom date ranges as well. We have more different Google products. We can search Google News, images, videos. Now videos, are actually not to do with YouTube per se. When you search YouTube, then you're searching YouTube platform. When you search Google search box and then select videos, then Google's going to go ahead, bring results from many different video hosting sites, including YouTube, including Dailymotion, Vimeo, websites, and all that stuff. Now we covered the basics of searching Google. Let's look at what else we can do. Let's say schema markup plugin. Let's search for that. Now, looking at certain results set, if you want to get rid of the noise, all you need to do is start utilizing the minus operator. When you place a minus, in front of a word and search Google accordingly, then it's going to search its database and bring results for you minus the keyword you have just modified. Now, there are different ones, such as, let's imagine the keyword WordPress was important in your search pattern. Then you can utilize double quotes that basically forces Google to bring you results that must include the keyword WordPress because it's within double quotes, as we can see. Now, there is also asterisk symbol. That is a wildcard operator telling Google to fill in the gaps for you. 
you can use the wildcard or minus or double quotes whether at the end of your search pattern as in the keywords or you can do so within the keywords itself thus Google showing you different features because Google has lots of data as in search history for you for everyone who uses it it brings you quick suggestions as well you can always clear search history for your Google account I won't cover that in this tutorial but realize that's available for you you can there's another one perhaps you can place an underscore in between words to see what else it brings you so once again we have the asterisk operator wildcard operator we have the minus to minus the word then we have double quotes to force the keyword to be included now let's move on to in URL in URL colon wordpress.org as an example or dot com not corg that doesn't make sense right now because I'm searching Google a bit fast it's saying okay you know what your search is being done a bit too quick yes that's not gonna bring any results because in url.corg that didn't make any sense to Google but in URL colon a website name goes ahead and brings you result that contains these in the URL portion I could have easily said in URL colon WordPress only they may bring different results but now it is just that now we can at this stage utilize the minus operator in front of in URL now telling Google bring results but make sure these keywords are not mentioned within the URL portion thus minus in URL we can also say okay I am interested in results coming from websites let's imagine in UK as an example we can say in URL colon dot co dot UK now as you can see because we know websites hosted on UK will have dot UK extension we could have easily said dot AU in URL dot AU yes as you can see this is not dot AU but it's trying to make that guess there right but if I say dot com dot AU then it's going to go ahead and trying to bring better results for you there is different ones we can say in title as in in title of a web document make sure it has the keywords rank ya if we want now these websites as in these results will have as I hover over you can see that is the title being shown to us title of a document contains the keyword rank ya we can say how about in text now it's going to bring you results that contains the keyword you're searching for within the text of a web document so we've got in URL in title in text and lastly in anchor in anchor is within the anchor text as in if there is a keyword within the anchor text as in the hyperlink that's what that searches at the same time we can always utilize minus in front of in URL in title in text 
in ENC. Finally, there is another one called all in URL. Let's do that. All in URL. All in title. All in text. All in anchor. This basically tells Google to look for the keywords and make sure it is within, in this example, within the hyperlink. All in URL is within the URL portion of a web document. URL portion of a web document is this here. Let's imagine this scenario. Last week, I was trying to hunt down WordPress sites that had something to do with recipe that would benefit from Magic Schema plugin. All I do then is say recipe. Knowing that WordPress sites do contain in URL colon WP hyphen content. Now all these results are built on WordPress as we can see in the URL and somehow the keywords recipe is mentioned on those websites allow me to focus my outreach campaigns to precisely the websites that could benefit from using this plugin as you can see there is many different ways to search Google and I've just basically shown you the most easy methods to use to fine tune your search pattern so that thus you save time because without using these advanced methods it's always clouded it's always noisy as in the result sets are always noisy but now you are better prepared to search Google more efficiently I really hope that you have enjoyed this video session and if you found it of use to you please do give it a like and share it and I'll talk with you in the next video session